Stages of the branding process, strategy goal, um, continuing with the goal of brand architecture is the optimal relationship of the brand to the company, brand to other company brands and sub brands, and the brand to the public. So the overall goal, of course, is to make sure that all of these companies within the main company have a consistent brand and is clear to the public uh, that they are all kind of part of the same overall brand. Stages of the branding process, the strategy checklist. So here are some questions that you can ask yourself when you're starting to develop the brand uh, strategy. And you know some of them are common questions that you can ask yourself throughout all different brands that you create. And some of them you might start coming up with particular things to each uh, brand. So it's, it's maybe a good idea to create a template, a, a general list of questions that can then be added to for more specific projects. So a couple of these questions generally would be, what is the brand's particular value, voice, and spirit or personality? Define the brand essence. How can we both on it, uh, how can we be both honest and appealing to the target audience? How will we position the brand or group in the marketplace? <clears throat> and define the brand promise. Some more questions for a strategy checklist can be, how is the com competition positioned? What do we want in the future? How can we differentiate our brand or group? How can we account for change? And how can we anticipate trends? Strategy statement, also called the positioning statement, is uh, it's a written statement uh, delineating the strategy concept, uh, demarcating the vital characteristics of the brand or group and the marketplace. So here's an example for these Gray's chocolate chip cookies. And you can kind of see how they have these four points. It would be one way of kind of structuring it. It says to the target audience, um, this is the message to them. It says healthy proactive preventers who want to do more for their health, working moms who are uh, 35 to 40 years old. So that's them describing their target audience, which is of course something you want to do as well. That may not be in the actual, you know, positioning statement, but um, it's a good way to be able to, you know, know who it is that you're trying to sell to. Uh, Gray's is the tasty, healthy cookie option. That's their category. Um, and the benefit is guilt-free cookie that tastes so good that you can stay in control of your health. And the supporting points, and why is that? Because in blind taste tests, Gray's matched the liters on taste, but only 100 calories and uh, 3 grams of net carbs. In a 12-week study, consumers using Gray's out, uh, once a night as a dessert were able to lose 5 to 10 pounds. So all four of those are uh, some, some good things to include in your positioning statement so that you can... Um, you know, really define how you separate yourself from the others and define your brand. And what makes you unique? Stages of the branding process, strategy, sample creative brief. Why are cre uh, creating a brand branding program? What, um, to whom are we talking? So these basically are questions that you would Ask in the initial meeting if you were uh, working for an ad agency or so and you were going to help this company develop their brand or reposition their brand in some way, you would come up with a creative brief 
and a creative brief is a list of questions uh, that you would ask the business and they would kind of give you this information so that you can have a better understanding of the the business itself, the brand that they're going for, and what it is that you know you would go in and try to create for them. So, um, what does the audience currently think about this brand or group? Uh, and that would be, of course, if it already is a brand. But if it's a brand new uh, brand, then of course, you know, maybe that question would be omitted because the audience doesn't know about them yet. Uh, what would we like the audience to think about this brand or group? What do we want the audience to do? Do we want them to switch from, you know, one brand that they're using and come over and start using their product? Is it a product, service, things like that? What is the single critical message that we can convey? And how should we execute this strategy? And what are the creative guidelines? And these are just general questions, but uh, like I said before, when we were talking about the strategy questions, you know, there could be more that are particular to each uh, project. So another sample creative brief would have, of course, the title of the project. What is the overall challenge? Who is the key audience? What is our understanding? How did we arrive at this uh, realization? What is the brand essence? What is our strategy? And what should our execution be? A sample design brief. Design briefs may take a different form than creative briefs, emphasizing the application. Um, it should also have product, project title, product information, market information, communication objectives, format and size of the media, constraints, deadlines, budget, approval process. So these are kind of like a lot of the logistical things um, as they go forward in rolling out and creating all the materials for the brand. The concept, the branding concept is the unique thinking behind a brand setting its visual style that distinguishes a brand or group. Also called the idea in advertising. So what is the idea of the brand? You know, we see with this one, they kind of are going for kind of a rock and roll-ish kind of, of look and they're using their, I don't know if that would, be considered you know a famous person maybe it is it could be a famous person um, and then that could be the face of the brand so um, the overall kind of creative idea stages of the branding process the concept the concept powers all branding the concept unifies all branding the concept is the foundation of the visual style of all branding. The concept should be expressed through the brand name, the visual style, the brand identity, advertising, and every audience experience with the brand or group. Stages of the branding process, uh, the applications, Determining uh, range in media and designing identify specific applications. The name, logo, their tagline, uh, stationary, packaging, corporate literature, signage, websites, promotional design, advertising, whether that would be digital for the web or on television or on radio or on social media. Uh, these are all the different ways that a company can use to kind of push across their brand and get it out there to their uh, target audience. 